Hello YouTube! The little clip that you just saw was uh, my 3D printer printing out a part. Um, this is what that part looked like. This is a, oh, that's actually a half inch drive one. So this is what we were printing out. And these are um, little socket holders to go on rails. Now I did my quarter inch drive sets uh, and I did those all in wood. I could not figure out a way that I liked for doing 3 8 drive. So 3 8 and half. Um, so I went on Thingiverse. I have a 3D printer. I went on Thingiverse. I found a thing. Um, this is that thing so that I can make my own rails. So this is my problem. I end up, you buy a set like this. This is actually a Stanley set and it's fine. Um, but after a while they get worn out. This one will still latch for them. No, those are gone now too. So, but the never fits in the box with that. So you, you end up cutting that off. It, I just don't, it's just not a permanent solution. It's just plastic. So those parts when put into action actually look like this. So we can um, snap them on. They stay on. They don't fall off. This is a material called PLA which is an abbreviation for uh, polylactic acid, which is a 3D filament, which is uh, one of the easiest things to print. So what I like is I can get these set up and then shorten this bar. And I've got a cap. I actually drilled and tapped that hole with a, uh, I think that's a four millimeter bolt. So I can make it as long as I want and then put the other end on. So I've been printing those right along that one individual piece that I printed took 18 minutes um, to get all by the from when it actually started printing to ending printing 18 minutes so I didn't think that was bad um, but I printed a whole bunch of these so I'm gonna redo my socket rails with um, with these 3D printed ones and this bar is just a sheet, uh, a piece of eighth inch aluminum. This happens to be anodized. Uh, you could use aluminum, you could use steel, you can use whatever. But So that's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. I'll be able to put my sockets on there. I'll be able to set them down in my toolbox so they won't go anywhere. Um, if I really wanted to, I could screw this to a board. I could hang it on a wall. So I think this is a really good solution. So. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about what we're doing here. All right, I got that marked off. I'm gonna take that and uh, get that cut off and I'll meet you back when we drill that drill and tap that hole. There we go. An M4 by 12 millimeters. There we go. Nice and secure. Now I can take it apart and put the one I took off on it.
All right, there we are. So let's look at some of the numbers here. This piece is uh, about 10 and 3 quarter inches. For you Europeans, that's uh, 270 millimeters, 27 centimeters. And the new one is 7 and 3 quarter or 9 and 96, 97 millimeters. Um, we are one inch or 26 millimeters wide, where this one is almost double that, uh, 49 millimeters, just under two inches, inch and seven eighths. So this has a smaller footprint in my toolbox than this does. And this is just cheap old plastic. I'm gonna print out different colors for different things. Uh, different color for metric, different color for half inch. Um, that should be obvious looking at it, but you know, every once in a while you have one of those days. So that's my solution to my three quarter inch, three eighths inch socket problem. Uh, so that'll do three eighths and half inch. So I have my quarter, this will do my three eighths and half inch. And then I just have a, a set of three quarters to get taken care of. Uh, this piece is eight inches, what we said. Six and a, uh, yeah, we'll call it six and a half inches of eighth inch by three quarter inch anodized aluminum. It's not gonna rust. The bolts are stainless steel. I bought uh, that whole kit um, on on Amazon. I have them all. This is how I buy the my small metric. Just buy the whole box on Amazon. It was I don't think it was ten dollars. Uh, and my Stanley Torx bits. We'll get them cleaned up. We'll put them back in the toolbox. So that's all I have for here. Um, I do have tons of things around the house that I 3D printed. Uh, this is obviously an Altoids tin, but once they're empty, I turn this into a mini screwdriver and I have it in my toolbox. So I don't rely on this for my main screwdrivers, but I have a series of, this is my to-go toolbox. Um, I have a series of torques, different flats, a couple squares, uh, Allens. I do have some of the other Phillips, uh, three. So that's all good. That's what I use. All right, T-Rex out. When in doubt, put a motor on it.